So hi guys, this is me and I'm wearing my actual real life glasses. This is what I wear daily. This is from Costco and it costs about, uh, for the frame it costs about a hundred Canadian dollar. Um, these are wide enough in terms of the distance between the legs, but it is a bit narrower than I like in terms of the glasses lens part. Um, because I do have, I think, a really wide face. <laughs> um, so I'll be trying out these glasses I got from Tom and I'll show you guys what they look like. So let's begin with lens glasses and then I'll show you why they actually don't fit on my wide face. First of all, you can notice that they, this kind of um, cracks a bit, um, which is annoying. But when I put it on, I actually, my nose doesn't touch the nose bridge because this legs are kind of smushing my face and they're not does just doesn't go in any further so I kind of have to give them a little gentle nudge and actually put it on so these lens actually doesn't fit my face I think I really do like the style of it because I do like bigger lenses because I feel like some of the narrow one makes me look too serious and that's not the style I go for um, so this is what this one looks like um you see the yeah I kind of when I look out my peripheral I see the yellow bright neon in a rim from my um, point of view uh, which could be distracting for certain people just you know so this is what this one looks like I personally like this style just wish it was a bit wider once again cracking I'm like to be honest 150 US dollar for this quality you're paying for the brand I know but quite, quite basic this one is Miku one. It does crack a bit, not as much as lens one. So this is what this one looks like on me. Um, I don't have much problem with the peripheral in terms of this one compared to lens one because it's not vibrant blue or aqua color. It's still a tint, a kind of translucent tint. So it probably makes me look more serious. It's a bit wider. It does fit my face so I don't have to jam it in. So yeah, this I think, maybe just not my style, looks good. And this one is the Love Life one. Uh, this one is a computer glasses, so it is a bit tinted yellow. I can see that through my, <laughs> you know, my, my eyes. Um, I do see a bit of red on the peripheral. Overall, this is what this one looks like, I think. I don't know, not my style per se, it is okay. And this one is Ken's um, Street Fighter model. This one I feel is a bit more sturdier than the Love Light one. It just feels a bit thicker. Um, however, I feel like this is a bit tilted down this way. So I kind of will have to probably adjust it somehow. Maybe tightening this leg a bit. But it just feels a bit tilted on my face. Um, I think with this red, it's much more bold and saturated and more flat. So it does more look more... Uh, a kiddish style once again fairly not not a big lens so not my style I feel like well, with this I look a bit weird the fate one this one I think um, this leg needs to be adjusted I think it's a bit loose so it just keep on fall flopping around so this one looks like this on me um, this does have a nose bridge pad padding um, so this pair is more out, further out from my face than some of the other ones, which could be a bad thing because I can immediately see that um, in my field of view, I do see the rims a lot. Like I do see a lot of it and I see areas out of my lens. Um, so it feels like you always have a box, you always see a box around your eyes. Could be a problem, but I do, I think I like do like the style of this. It is wide enough, but just I don't know. And I like the color. It's um shiny a bit, which is, you know, could be a good thing or a bad thing. It depends on you. Um, the color is not as bright as the Street Fighter one, um, so it doesn't look as kiddish. Um, I think it looks generally okay with this one. Okay, I'm going to show you, I guess, a bit of stuff that I bought on Tom again. Um, bought quite a lot of pairs of glasses, so I'll show you them. Um, these are out of their cases, but I'll also show you guys what they look like within their cases as well. Yes, they just keep on coming. 
So I guess from top, this one is the Rin and Len, um, I guess 10 year Vocaloid anniversary version. This one is the Sh Street Fighter um, glass, computer glasses. This is the Fate Archer um, glasses. This is Love Life Coterie's uh, model. And then this one is the Miku non 10 year anniversary version. So I guess I'll start with the top one just because. So this pair is the 10 year anniversary version for Rin and Len. Um, this is actually very, I like the style of these glasses the most. I'll actually show you some clips of me wearing this one later in the video. Um, so anyway, so this is what it looks like. Um, really pretty design and it's a kind of wavy style with a music note here and a yellow uh, stripe here. The inside is bright, bright, bright yellow, which is super fun. Um, on this side is a also have a music note with white, yellow, and black. Um, it comes in with uh, one of this big, big case. So compared to some of the cases I'll show you later, uh, well today, um, this one is really big and thick. Um, this is magnetic. And this pair came with a Rin and Len uh, microfiber cloth, which is good. This microfiber cloth is um, on a bigger size um, to some of the ones I will show you today. So for example, the Love Life one is this about like 60% of the size. And also the Fate one. The Fate one is big, but it's also... I'm not sure if you can tell, it's a bit smaller, so this one, is the one on the back here is Rin and Len, so that one's a bit bigger. Anyway, that I'll get to some of those later, so this one is the Rin and Len version. And this, I think, costed about like 150 US dollars. Um, yeah, quite pricey for glasses. Um, next I'll go who is the Miku one. The Miku one is not their 10th anniversary one, so I don't think um, it has, I don't know, some special features of that 10th anniversary one. This one looks like this. A really deep, deep, deep color. So it's black here, but on the inside rim is a kind of translucent Miku's color. It's not saturated like Rin and Lens one, um, so this is I guess more wearable and more mature to wear. Um, you can tell that this one isn't as the lens aren't as big as Rin and Lens, uh, but it is wider. So I can compare that actually to you right now that the width of Miku's one and Rin and Lens one is actually very different. So if I put them side by side here in terms of this leg, I'm not sure if you can tell. Oh boy, this is a... Maybe do it this way. Sorry, I'm trying to make sure that you guys can tell. So, either way, it's not it's not as wide as Miku's one, which it is a problem with Ren and Lens when it doesn't fit on my face. <laughs> my really big, wide face, great. Um, but Miku's one and every other ones I will show you today will fit on my face other than Rin and Lens. So this one is actually really pretty. I think it's a like a trans, almost like a translucent iridescent Miku's aqua color and it's really beautiful. Like Rin and Lens one, it came with that big magnetic, magnetic um, case and it had its own Miku microfiber cloth. This one also cost I think around 150 US dollars. Uh, let's do the Love Life one. So this Love Life one is a computer glasses. Um, it's a really thick, deep navy. And it has red on the inside with the stripes. I think each girl has a different tech a model. This one is Cotteries one. So I think this these dots are yellow. Oh, not yellow. So these are white. Um, and it's navy, navy red style. This one is Cotteries one. Um, I'll show you compared to Miku's one, these lenses aren't as big. I'm not sure if you can tell. So in terms of height, sorry, oh. Like Miku's one is a bit taller, I think. Um, but no worries, you know, 
different styles. I just don't like these narrow ones as much as the bigger lenses one because I don't like how serious these look. So this one came with a really cute case that has this love life and like I showed you before, a small microfiber cloth with all the girls. Um, yeah, this case is magnetic, has a bit felt in it. So that one's that. So here is the Street Fighter Ken's model. It's right on the outside rim and black on the inside. They do have Ken here, um, over here. I'm not sure if you can see um, a silhouette of Ken. That's what I'm trying to look for. Um, um, here they have, I'm not sure if it's in focus. Um, the Game Boy kind of control pads here. I think this design is really cool. It is a computer glass, as you can tell, the lenses are yellow. Um, but I don't really, I mean, I wear prescription glasses, so I'll probably, if I ever use the, this frame, I'll be taking these lenses off. What's weird about this pair of glasses is that it sits kind of tilted on my face, so I'll probably have to adjust some of the legs or something to make it not tilted on my face um this pair is very the height of it is very um it's not very high um start the start i like compared to miku's once again it's not that tall sorry i'm gonna fold this yep okay um this came with a cool kind of case as well similar to the love lives one so Street Fighter V, licensed for use by Tokyo Otakumo. Did it came with? Yes, it also came with a microfiber cloth here. It says Street Fighter. So pretty cool. And then lastly, I have the fake glasses. Oh, so sorry, I don't remember how much I paid for the Love Life one or the Street Fighter one, but I'll put them on the screen when I show the other ones so this one is the fate one this one is the only one out of glasses i have today that are made of metal that's made of metal it's red and it's very narrow um but it's really wide um it has one black um style kind of with a snake pattern thing correct me if i'm wrong i have a really cool design here and a white side here. It's kind of your destined translucent a bit, um, kind of pearly with the design here as well, with a cool nose pad because I need them for my Asian nose. <laughs> um, this came with a really cool case here, uh, and if you open it inside, and a really cool microfiber cloth, or I guess. Uh, design of Archer in there. I already started using them. I think um, even though this was very narrow, I do like the, the pair of glasses on my face. I like it's red, but it's not that vibrant red like the Street Fighter ones. Street Fighter ones, if you wear it, kind of looks a bit kiddish. This one is um, just overall pretty good, but it's very, it's fairly narrow. Anyway, so that's all the glasses I have for you today. I'm going to show you a bit of other stuff that I got from Tokyo Takumo. Um, one of which are these um, towels, hand towels. I'm going to zoom you out a bit maybe. So these are hand towels. I got them during the Halloween, I think 30 times the points event. Um, these are not as soft as I hope and feeling them I re to be honest feel like they're fairly crappy I feel like Ikea's like 20 cent um, Cloths are better quality, but of course these are very cute So I got I think three designs so this design with Rilakkuma and this design which is super cute and lastly I think let's see the design over here I mean, I definitely can find uses for them, but it just, for I think two US dollar, which converts to Canadian, is quite a bit. I think two or three. Yeah. Um, the quality wise, if you're buying it, you, you, I mean, honestly, when you're buying these stuff, you're not buying really for the quality, you're buying for the brand and the design. Um, that was pretty okay. Actually, what I'm filming this on is actually a bed sheet. Um, I'll put, insert a photo what it actually is. Um, 
I think it was part of the, the pick up girls in the dungeon thingy magic. Anyway, um, it's quite expensive because it's very thin. I think on on the website there is a review saying that it's very thin. I think it's more suitable for summer for the price. So definitely, you're not buying this because it was cheap. You're buying it because you like the anime or like me, you just like um anything we related. <laughs> Um, so yeah, um, another, th another few things I bought from Tom is our plushies. So this one is a tuna sushi plushie. This, um, it's a bit rough on here, but it's super soft down here. So this is a tuna plushie. It's quite cute. It's a bit smaller than I imagined, but uh, I won't complain. Um, and two other plushies I got are way out of the... Shot this one. Um, these move it here a bit. Um, so these plushies are their fruit plushie, I believe. This is a lemon, and that one is a peach. I can't, I don't know if you can tell. They're super adorable. Um, they do kind of look like the same shape on the website. The pictures are a bit more different, but now I look at it, I'm like, they kind of look very similar. This is a slightly bit wider, but overall they look exactly the same. Um, they do have other fruit as well, but I was really liking the pear, but it was sold out, I think, almost immediately because I think everybody likes the pear better. Um, so now I kind of wish I'd gotten for the apple or the strawberry instead, instead of the peach, because they do look so similar. Oh, whoops. Dropped one. Um, but overall, but overall they're quite cute, so can't complain about that. Um, the next thing I got, uh, from Tom is Akashi Nandroids. Um, so he'll be joining my Bokuto Nandroids from Haikyuu. I'm super excited. He looks so cute and yeah. I won't unbox it here because I'm really clumsy and all these little tiny th stuff will be flying everywhere if I do. And two other random things I got from Tom included this Miku um, eyeliner. It's fairly pricey. However, when I got it, I'm like really surprised with it. Um, it's kind of made of metal here. It's very sturdy. It feels cold to the touch. Um, it includes this very, very fine tip uh, felt tip line, I guess, tip. Um, and it's very pigmented. So I'm not sure if you can tell. Um, definitely, I think it's worth the price because it works so well. Yeah, rubbing it doesn't really come off. So, cause I, what I have, oh, I guess an issue I have for my other eyeliner is like it kind of separates. Maybe because my lids are pretty greasy or the makeup I put on is a bit greasy. I try to put powders over it and then put my eyeliner. It still separates, but this, it just comes out super black and doesn't separate. Um, so for how much I pay for it, I think it's really worth it. I mean, it, it was quite expensive, so it's not like drugstore product. But for Miku and the quality of it, I really dig it. I think I really recommend this. So this is another thing I randomly got I think a couple months ago and I just haven't shown you guys. This one is, um, forgot the name of the figure, but I bought it during um, one of their Miku event. I think it was like, what was it? Something. Um, either way, uh, I got this, I thought it was super cute, but it's fairly small. So for I think 50 US dollar, I don't recommend this. It does come with their own little case, which I wish all figures does, to be honest, because you just, a cool way to display them. Um, but yeah, for such a tiny figure, $50, it wouldn't be worth it. Um, but I got lucky for this purchase because I think during that event, it was, you could win your purchase, and I bought this, so I kind of won my purchase back, which is this. So I technically 
one my purchase back in point which makes it hella worth it but if you want to buy this just because there's you know I wouldn't recommend it um okay move on to the other products I got which I almost forgot so I got a lot of Claire files so after getting a lot of these um Okay, back in the days with Tom where they actually give you full size Claire files um, I kind of fell in love with them because I find them really helpful in terms of organizing and um, just looking a bit more professional where you put stuff in your bag and you don't want them crumpled so I bought a lot of Claire files during the 31 times the points event so I got this design which super pretty in terms of detail because it's cute um, and kind of just looks not um, super kiddish. <laughs> this one is a really cool my one. This is really cute. Um, that's that design. I bought a couple of them. Um, and then this design. Bought a couple of them as well. Um, Try to keep everything organized. Here, that's that design. Everything's falling off my bed because the bed sheet's super slippery. I should have two more. Okay. Two other designs are these, to be honest. I don't follow this manga or anime, whatever it is. I just thought it was cool. I, I don't follow any of this anime or manga, whatever this is. I just thought it was really cool design, so I just bought it. 